Okay, so why would anybody need a NUC? I mean, really? No. You need a NUC to hold your cigar. There are many different types of NUCs out there. Some are made of brass, others stainless steel, some are made of micarta or wood, others are made of a combination of materials. Okay, so once inside a Fusion 360, you wanna make sure your origin is turned on so you can see this floor plane that we're going to create the sketch on. So let's go up to the Create Sketch tool and then let's select this floor plane. Next we want to go up to create, go down to the rectangle, and let's do a center rectangle. Select the middle, the origin here, as the center point, start sliding out. Okay, so we want our NUC to be 1.2 inches tab by 1.98 and hit enter. So that's the beginning of our NUC here. So let's go ahead and hit the Q key so that we can pull this sketch up and actually make it a 3D object. So we want our NUC to be 0.59 inches thick. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the origin now so that you can see it, so you can appreciate it. All right, so now let's put our middle finger hole right here. I mean, uh, cigar hole <laughs> right here. So let's go create the, uh, hit the create sketch tool again. Select the top of our NUC. And then back to center diameter circle. Click the middle point there and start sliding it out. And we want our hole to be 0.98 inches. Hit enter. And then hit the Q. And we're going to select this round sketch we just made. And start dragging it down to see it's cutting it. Fly around to the bottom and select the bottom. And that is going to automatically snap that hole to the bottom. So if we make adjustments to this bottom part and we bring it down, that hole is going to go with it. That's what's so cool about that little trick. Hit OK. Hit the home button to see what we have here. There we go. That's the beginning of it. Now we don't want this hole to be right in the middle of this. We want to have it on the top side. So we are going to modify, go down to move, and we're going to move faces. So we're going to select this inside face. We are going to go to the top. And over here, you want to make sure that you have translate clicked. And we're going to slide this over to about right there. I'm going to say OK. All right, now let's make a lanyard hole someplace like right here. So we're going to go back up to the Create Sketch tool. We're going to click on the top of this NUC. Back to the circle, center diameter circle. And we are going to reference it off of this corner here. So we're going to click on that corner, drag it out. We want the lanyard hole to be a quarter of an inch, so 0.25. Hit Enter. Finish sketch. Okay, the reason we put it right there on the corner is so that we can go up a certain amount and then go over the exact same amount. So this hole is centered between uh, these two lines here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I want to explain something to you here that's very important. We made this circle based on the corner of this nuck. So that means that it's constrained. We can't move this circle without unconstraining it from the corner of this nook. So the way to do that is you will right click on the line 
you're going to say edit sketch and then when you hover over the center part you're going to see those two little angles up there on the right that's letting you know that there's two constraints on it so we're going to click on one and hold down the shift key and click on the other one and then hit your delete key that is going to make it possible for us to move this uh, circle here okay so let's zoom back out just a little bit and down we're going to right click on it again and we're going to go to the move tool right here click that move tool and we're going to bring it up about uh, about a quarter of an inch so we're going to go ahead and type that in there 0.25 okay oh it's a negative 0.25 okay go up so that has to be a negative 0.25 and then we're going to go over 0.25 so let's go ahead and type that in there so it's exact hit enter now our lanyard hole is where it needs to be equal distance from this edge and equal distance from this edge both of these lengths are equal now so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's hit our home tab we are going to hit the Q key select that circle we just made fly around to the bottom select the bottom so that that hole goes all the way through we're going to hit OK. Very cool. All right. All right. We are getting somewhere now. OK. So let's add a filet, filet mignon, right here and right here. So under modify, they go to filet mignon. Click that one and click that one. And then we're going to go to the top view and oh, we're going to drag this guy in I'm gonna say about right there and we're gonna say okay now we also want to add some fillet on the bottom so we're gonna back up to modify hit the fillet button select that one select that one go back to the top view so we can see what we're doing drag this arrow in and I'm going to say about right there. Add a little more. Right there. That looks cool. And we're going to say okay. All right. So now we want to put some chamfers on these edges. So we're going to go to modify. We're going to say chamfer. Select this edge and the bottom edge. And I'm just going to go ahead and type it in here. And I'm going to guess 0.05. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so you don't want these edges to get close to that edge. Um, it's going to look weird. So we're going to add also a chamfer here. So we don't want to bring this one in too far. Let's say OK on that one. Say modify. Let's put another chamfer on this edge and this edge. And let's go with a .03 on that. See, it's getting close, but it's not there yet. So we'll keep it at that. And then let's add a chamfer to this lanyard hole, the top and the bottom. And we're going to say, let's try a 0 0.02. We can probably go with a 0 0.03 there. All right. Well, that's looking good. I like that. Okay, so you see how easy that was to make this uh, this nuck here. Now this is a very basic nuck, but um, it's a good beginner project, especially since it's nice and square and it will be easy to uh, hold in the CNC machine and machine. So very basic shape. Once we're done, we can always finish this uh, with a, a hammered brass look or we can give it an antique look by um, sandblasting it and then darkening it and then hitting it with some steel wool. 
there's just a couple of different things we can do. We can stone wash it. So this is a good, um, a good base to start with. So stick with me. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, now would be a good time to hit that because you don't want to miss these. All right. As always, thank you so much for joining me in Gorilla Shop.